بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We come to you from Masjid Abu Huraira and I just wanted to share a, a brief uh, reminder with all of us uh, in these very very trying and difficult times there are many who are asking about this calamity that has befallen all of us. They're asking, is this a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? And so what we're finding is two extremes. One group of people who are saying that it is impossible for us to attribute to Allah that he is punishing us through this pandemic. And we're not allowed to say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is punishing people through such a calamity. Another extreme are those who say that this disease is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every single person who is infected by it. And so either you have this extreme or you have the other. And so what we say regarding this is that there's no doubt that if we were to examine the ayat in the Quran and the many ahadith, we will come to the conclusion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does send such calamities as a punishment for the people. And this is, we say in general, it's a communal punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Read the stories of the prophets. Read the various uh, stories either in the Quran or in the Sunnah. We find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends natural disasters as a way of punishing the people. And the spread of disease is also uh, an example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the plague he sent it on Bani Israel, and there are other examples as well. This is in the general sense. So what we are seeing and what we are going through is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of for all of humanity. And the reason for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishing is there are many reasons behind it. Among these reasons is our sins, the spread of corruption the spread of immorality, uh, not enjoining the good, forbidding the evil, and so on and so forth. This is on the one hand. On the other hand, if we were to look at this calamity on the individual level, we see that here it differs. And so here, it could either be a punishment for, from Allah for that particular individual, or it could be a form of Allah showing mercy to that person. And the proof for this, Aisha radiallahu anha asked the Prophet وسلم, about the plague. And so he said that it was a punishment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send on some people, on whomever he will. But it is a mercy for the believer. So any believer who is infected by this disease, then it is a form of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You may be wondering, how could it be a form of mercy? How could it be something good for the person? There's suffering involved. There's pain involved. And so here now we, we go to a, a different topic. And that is, you know, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow suffering? for his righteous servants, for his believers. And there are many reasons behind that that the scholars of Islam have explained. We're not going to get into that, but the point is that uh, this calamity and this pandemic, it is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when it comes to the believers, when it comes to the believers, it's something good for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala afflicts them with these kinds of calamities 
for their own good. And that can be looked at through a variety of different ways. If you have been afflicted with a calamity, whether it is be, whether, whether it is being infected by this disease or having a loved one to be infected with it and dying from it or whether it be the effects of this pandemic like the economic downfall and maybe you've lost your job this is a calamity and so on and so forth if this calamity has gotten you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then this is Allah's mercy upon you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala afflicted you with this calamity for your own good, so that now you wake up. You wake up from your heedlessness and now turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so if we come out of this pandemic and out of this calamity, being closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rectifying our ways, then it was something good for us. But if we remain upon our old ways and we haven't changed, then it was a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this is how you know, one can take a balanced, balanced approach to this issue. And Allah knows best. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us all safe and sound and healthy in the best of health and iman and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cure those among the believers who have been afflicted with this disease and to accept as shuhada those who have passed away from it we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to witness the month of Ramadan in iman and good health we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to once again open the doors of his of his houses of the masajid for the month of Ramadan. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa